the last set of 40 killed me <laughs> legs were on fire lungs were on fire i got that like that like diabetic dizziness kind of at the end guys we're back training day today is leg day saturday leg day and uh we did the family stuff had a good time did some grocery shopping and uh, now I am ready. If you're not following, make sure you check out the Instagram page. I'm posting a lot of my meals there on the Instagram page. I think it works a little bit easier. I'll just throw the meals up on Instagram. I might do a training day, like a, a eating day or a meal prep day with you guys here for the YouTube channel. Um, so I'll keep you posted as that goes. But today's training, this is about training right training day leg day lower body day you know i'm running that push pull leg split right now and i don't take a day off until i really feel fatigued or when i know in the future i'm ramping up volume and intensity right now i'm just at the beginning so some of you look at the weights and you're like oh man i thought you'd be moving more weights don't worry more weights are coming I'm slowly scaling, I'm scaling volume, I'm scaling intensity. I'll be adding new exercises, extra sets, and definitely higher weights as we continue. Um, this is week one of a 12 week full body transformation program. That's what I'm doing right now. Full body transformation, I got those goals set. My birthday is in mid-August or mid-April, excuse me. I started this in mid-January, January to February to March to April. This is a 12-week total body transformation program, and I'm bringing you along. You ready? Let's go. All right. Ready to go? Let's do this. Now, this is... This is my favorite truck. I love this truck. This has slowly become my training truck because I beat the hell out of it. Some days, especially in the summertime, this thing smells like a footlocker, but then some days I'll get it cleaned up and ooh, baby. Does she turn heads? Um, this is like a tank if you haven't driven a Land Rover before, just as we're driving here. Which way should I go? I'm actually gonna take the beach. Um, so I'll show you guys the beach as we drive to the gym, which is actually not far. It's only a few minutes, but I'll show you the beach as we go. baby Oof. leg day leg day is always rough i know going into leg day what it takes to have a successful leg day lower body day and uh mentally you got to be ready so i knew this morning it was leg day the my meals it was leg day staying hydrated along the way it was leg day and uh it was leg day and now we are here on leg day so this is gonna be a good one 
it won't nearly be the hardest and most crazy. You'll start seeing that pop up right around week three, four, five, when we really start to ramp and get nasty. Part of this program I think is cool, this My Training Day series for you guys. You can actually see the way I'll slowly be ramping up the volume, the intensity, the exercise selection will start to change. You'll probably, I'm assuming, you'll probably start to notice differences in me even as we continue to go through the system. I understand, I know the road ahead, I know what it looks like, I know the challenges that lay before me. And this is all a part of the process. I know where I wanna be, I know my destination, I know where I wanna end up. And there are certain things that must be done in order to get there. And today is one of those things. Let's go. Again, brought it home the one day and then left it the next day.
Warm up is over.
That was gnarly. That was way more gnarly than the last one. I did remember my jacket though. So there is a plus to all of this. I'll break down the workout. What I can remember. Oh, but first, get that Dolce Way Pro cold process, cross flow, micro filtered, grass fed whey protein isolate, five ingredients only, all natural, all organic, nothing hidden, nothing GMO. This chocolate right here is made with cacao. For those of you who know, you know the time, the expense that goes into making such a grand product. And that is all for you, my friends. Only the best for you guys. And once I have product in hand for you, this is, of course, my, my testing supply. You will know about it. So outside of that, that plus five grams of creatine monohydrate. Um, listening to my buddy, Tony Ricci and the fight nutritionist, one of his protégés, talking about the benefits of creatine and listening to Tony talk. I'll get him on the podcast here, hopefully this week, fingers crossed. I wanna talk more about upping the creatine. Tony's talking about the possibility of 10 grams per day, where I always start low, so I've been hanging out at three grams per day. Now I'm up to five. I might slowly build myself up to 10 grams per day over the next 12 weeks, uh, which will be interesting, but we'll get Tony on, who is an expert by far, to break all this down. Make sure I got my wallet. I always feel like I've lost, ah, the wallet is here. All right, so let's talk about the workout briefly. You saw the warm up, ha, Henrik. I had my, my buddy Henrik out there um, who busted me last time on kind of skipping over my dynamic warm up. So I was thinking to you, uh, Henrik, after after my warm up, I always hit 10 minutes on the elliptical, elliptical, get the blood rate flowing. I almost always do my dynamic warm ups. Um, usually they last anywhere between about eight and 15 minutes. This one lasted about 12 minutes. Um, I just showed you kind of one pass through. I do three full path pass throughs of what you saw. I did a little bit of some shoulder um, mobilization, although I knew I wasn't gonna have anything on my back. If I'm gonna put a barbell on my back, back rack or front rack, I'm definitely gonna hit a little bit more of shoulder um, mobilization and uh, cervical spine mobilization. Didn't really get into that on this one. Much more lower body centric, especially those that hip joint, on um, that hip capsule and the pelvis, because um, I have bad hips. You know, bad hips, bad lower back, just from years of combat sports, years of powerlifting, years of being a, a fucking meathead. Way too heavy, training way too heavy, way too hard for 20, 30 years or so. Um, so now I really take the time to hit those warm ups. So Henrik, that was for you, my brother. Eh, anyway, from there, what did I do? I went on to the cable abduction, adduction machine. I really like to get those small muscles firing. I like to get some good blood in there. That's probably the biggest pump I get in my entire lower body workout. I strongly suggest you guys do that. I do three full rotations all the way through, inside, outside, both legs. I usually do 10 to 20 repetitions. I don't care about the weight. I just go super slow, kind of really mentally focused, get a lot of good blood flow in there. Um, then I went over onto the glute machine, get those really firing. And also I'm thinking about my, my lower abdominal floor. I'm thinking about my pelvis, you know, just getting my body aligned on those movements. Cause it's, it's that mind muscle connection and aligning the skeletal frame. Um, from there, I'm actually forgetting right now. I just did the workout, forgetting what I did. And uh, it's a good thing. Training journal, my friends, cost me like 79 cents or something at the uh, dollar store. I get a bunch of these things. Elliptical dynamic warm up cable glute machine. And then I went and just Nautilus leg extension. Uh, I did a few sets of uh, 15 reps or so, a few sets of the, the single leg hamstring. Again, that's just blood flow. I'm not trying to separate my, 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 my quads. I'm, I'm, I mean, I, mine are pretty damn separated if you've seen, um, but that's not the goal. It's again, it's just blood flow, blood flow, blood flow. I'm thinking blood flow, blood flow, get all that blood flowing, get good elasticity inside that muscle tissue. And I'm also always running a systems report. How's everything feel? How are my toes? How are my ankles? How are my knees? How are the hips? How's my low back? How's my spine? 
I'm doing a systems analysis. Every single thing I do and my breathing walks in between exercises, I'm going through a systems check. Do I need to pay any attention to any certain area to avoid injury? I talk about this all the time. We want to train healthy. We want to stay healthy so I can show up tomorrow and train again. I'd rather today go to 70, 80, 90% of my, my max or slightly less in order to risk or to minimize the risk of injury so I can show up tomorrow and do more and then the next day and do more. That's the philosophy here. We want to stay in the gym. We want to stay health, stay healthy. We want to get reps. Very rarely do we redline it. I don't need to redline it. You don't need to redline it. Very few of us ever need to redline it unless you're an advanced trainer, trainee, unless you're an advanced athlete, you don't really need to redline it. Those of us who just want to be fucking lean, mean, sexy beasts, you don't need to go over the red line and risk injury and then be out for six weeks, three months, or an entire season. Forget that. Um, then I went through my goblet warm-up. I got this from Chris Duffin. I really take the time to sink down low into that goblet squat. I, I pitch my weight back and forth, side to side, kind of move around a little bit, and I feel the elasticity. I try and feel for any sort of limitations, any sort of impingements, any areas that need further attention, and they felt great. Super smooth, super pumped. I add a little bit of weight. I added maybe a 35-pound dumbbell or so. Got down in that deep position. Every Everything felt perfect and then it was time to start going then it was time to start ramping up and then what did I do from there um, then I did the the split Bulgarian squats um, I think I don't know how many I'll, I'm shooting this after the workout so you'll see um, however many in the video you've already seen me do these right so I'm just telling you what I did um, so I, I did what did I show you what I did um, two sets of chains the chains are 30 pounds each they're slightly longer and they have the heavy um, U clamp at the end so these are 30 pound chains so 60 pounds of chains I worked up to 50 pounds in my hands 25 pound plates in each hands um, and I did three sets of 10 repetitions each side on those those felt awesome I could have definitely gone heavier but I was really just kind of trying to sink and again, I'm, I'm ramping right now. This is still week one of 12 weeks. Like I said, week three through five, that's where things really start to get gnarly because I'm still pushing relatively high reps or I will still be pushing relatively high reps with relatively heavy weight. And then the weight will start getting a little heavier. I'll start peeling off a little bit of reps at like week six, seven, eight and, and such. Um, so I went from there to the 12 inch box step up. Now those step ups, they work the entire leg, but why do I thrust that knee forward? It's not because of MMA and Muay Thai. It's because I'm trying to get that triple rotation inside my pelvis. By lifting the knee, when I lift the opposite side knee, it gets the opposite side glute, glute to fully contract. That's the point of the knee lift. The knee lift is to get the working leg to contract completely at the top so that's a little pro tip most people don't know people think they lift the knee because ah they're a Muay Thai fighter and they're throwing a knee that's not it that's that's silly we, we train Muay Thai in the Muay Thai school in the dojo we don't train Muay Thai in the strength facility here we're training proper muscle muscle activation right proper movement patterns I lift the knee on the on that exercise in order to fully engage, contract the glute to move the body through the full range of motion. That's the point of that. Those actually felt great. I need to get that box. I think that was like a, I think that's like a 14 inch rise. I have 12 inch rise, but it's a 14 inch rise. I need to get that to like 18 to 20 inches. Um, get that a little higher i can add a lot more weight on those two because that just felt stupid easy um then i went over to body weight squats uh with the 60 pounds of chain i banged out two sets of 30 then one set of 40 so i had a clean 100 reps the last set of 40 killed me <laughs> legs were on fire lungs were on fire i got that like that like diabetic dizziness kind of at the end um, but it was awesome crush that and then uh, i hit reverse uh, lunges off a one inch rise you may or may not have noticed i had a, one of those one inch mats on the floor so i got a slight one inch rise got slightly deeper um, again 60 pounds of chains three sets 10 reps on each side that felt great i didn't write down the rest of what i did on there so i went from there i think then i went over to the calves i'll write that down in a minute actually let me do that right now 
Um, I went to uh, three sets of calf raises on the, the vertical hack squat machine or the horizontal hack squat machine. Um, and that's just hack calves times 20. That I'm not even playing. I don't even care about the weight really on that. I'm just trying to get a really good stretch, really good squeeze right now. I'm not counting plates on those. Somewhere mid stack. It's usually like I just like mid stack, whatever. And then I can just slow it down because it's about it's about tension, time under tension, good stretch, good squeeze um, from there. And then I went over to the cable um, rope curls. I love this exercise. I love standing or hanging core exercises. My feet are firmly on the floor. Most of the time, that's where we need ab engagement. And from there, I just played. Now you can see I kind of changed my form. I was staying kind of straight line. Then I was going offline side to side. Then I was working kind of, you know, above the waistline, full trunk curls, kind of keeping it um, higher up on the midsection. On that exercise, I'm being very selective on which part of the abs I'm working. I'm keeping everything tight. I'm so locked in. I've been doing this for 30 years. I'm so locked in on this exercise. My abs were on fire fire the entire time this is just one of those exercises you want to stay slow slow and controlled and then squeeze and crunch love that exercise i changed my abs my core work um quite a bit i did planks actually as a part of my beginning um dynamic warm-up i didn't show that i finished that on set three um i, I did you know 60 second plank holds and i did kind of i call them sweep throughs where you kind of stay plank hold then you kind of reach under come back on top come back down to a firm brace opposite side so after a 60 second hold i did five left side five right side just so you guys can play along with that i think that's it let me finish shaking this up get the heck out of here um i hope you guys like this my training day this is part two this is legs lower body leave comments below this guys and girls if you've stayed this long i appreciate you being here bang bang give this video a thumbs up just so i know you're engaged into this um that, that's all I, that's all I, I'm doing this for you guys a lot of you have asked for some behind the scenes stuff I want to bring it to you it's such a pain in the butt but it's worth it I feel like I'm hanging out with you when I'm doing this workout I feel like you're in the gym with me doing this workout and I'm, I'm starting to lose the self-consciousness of people looking at me like I'm some sort of weirdo I am a weirdo I, I get that um, you know kind of in the gym like this I don't want to be bothered I just want to do my work and I'm training with you that's certainly the way it feels like so if you don't mind giving this video a thumbs up that's all i ask you don't worry about subscribing or all that stuff if you want to that's cool but just if you appreciate this content um let me know you're out there with a little thumbs up leave any comments below if you have any questions i'm really active in the comment section i answer i try and do my best to answer everyone's usually within the first day i'm very active in answering everyone's comments so i'm happy to answer any questions or comments or things like that if there's anything specific you want to see in a future workout any questions about this workout again leave Leave it below I just want to be as interactive as I can uh, with you guys I appreciate you being here on this journey with me remember this is my 12 week transformation my birthday is mid-April it's a big one big birthday coming up for me um, and uh, I want you to come along if you want to train with me train with me you want to diet with me diet with me you want to transform your body with me let's transform our bodies together I leave a, a left a little discount and a code down bottom um, for you if, if you want to take part in that and uh, I'm focused baby summer's coming best summer of our lives is coming and uh, we're gonna get it together until next time guys thank you boom